I'm excited to talk to you guys. This room got bigger. This is exciting. The last time I spoke, it was like years ago, and it wasn't as big, so I'm really excited about today. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this, this thing called price positioning, and uh, I know that we just had a price increase. How many of you guys, uh, when the price increase happened, you guys were a little freaked out? Just a little? OK. Um, Whenever they raise the prices, I'm like, great. Like, just buy it. You know what I mean? Like, don't worry about it. Okay? We'll be fine. Yes, people say pay increase. That's true. So we should just naturally grow by like $100,000 this year, right? Right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about price positioning. And what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys about our customers. Uh, all of us are event people. So what we have to do is we have to realize that most of our customers are price shoppers, okay? And when I say price shoppers, is that a lot of people want to know price and they, they buy based off of price. So what I put here is that it is our job to change the perspective, is our job to change the perspective of what a customer expects Cutco to cost. If we can change that expected like, number to something that's either way lower than they expected or right on point, we don't have to negotiate price, we don't have to drop prices, we don't have to do anything with price. Because people will naturally buy from us because the price is exactly what they thought it was going to be. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to give you some power phrases, some words, some nuggets that will help you guys so that you can position your customers so they know that Cutco's expensive, right? Now remember, confidence is key. Josh just said this up here on here. You've got to be confident with everything that you're doing. If you don't know your prices of Cutco, it's probably going to be hard to uh, price position someone if you're not confident with the number that you're about to say, right? And I see it all the time because people have those books, you know, the books with all the prices that are already in it. They don't know any of the prices. They just flip to a page. Yeah, that's what it is. This is what it is. There's no confidence in that, right? You should be confident with once you flip that page, you're like, yeah, and this is the price, and this is what it's here at. So, you know what I mean? The confidence level is different, right? And I'm not saying that people with books don't have confidence. I'm just saying I just noticed that you're just allowing the book to do the price positioning for you, right? Confidence comes from knowing that we sell the best product in the world, we sell something that's high end, we sell something that's going to last forever, right? And what we have to do is we have to be confident when we're telling that customer, hey, this is a one-time purchase, right? So you might as well buy it now and not wait until later when it's more expensive. Because if it's more expensive, I'm, I'm here ready for your credit card, right? Okay. I have here, don't expect to give away the kitchen sink every time you sell Cutco, okay? There's three types of Cutco reps. There is the Cutco rep that doesn't give a discount at all, full retail value, it is what it is, and that's how it is. Then you have the other extreme where it's the rep that's just like, I'm going to give the kitchen sink, I'm going to give you the homemaker at B block price, I'm going to give you a free peeler, an ice cream scoop, oh, and I'm going to give you this, this, that, 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 that. And then that customer's expectation every time they see Cutco now is the kitchen sink, right? And then you have reps that are right in the middle that are like, hey, I'm going to give you a discount, but it's not really a discount, but it's like a perfect medium between this extreme or this extreme, right? It doesn't matter where we're at. You can sell Cutco wherever. That's the power. That's the beautiful thing of Cutco. But if you want to sell millions of dollars with a Cutco, you have to have a happy medium, right? And full retail value is perfect to start with. And then we will show you how you can drop down just a little bit if you need to without giving the kitchen sink. Value shoppers, there are a dime a dozen, okay? So if you guys think that if all you have to do is just stand up there and talk about the value of Cutco, people will buy it, good luck, okay? Now we do have those customers that come up and they're like, oh my gosh, it's Cutco, it's the best stuff ever, I just wanna buy a set. Perfect, sell it to the full retail value, right? Because they already know what the value is of Cutco, right? You get that customer that's like, yeah, my mom has Cutco, we wanna get a set of knives. Perfect, sell it to them at full retail value, maybe give them a pair of shears or whatever, right? 
they're a value shopper. They already know the value of Cutco, right? But that's a dime a dozen, right? When you have someone that comes up, well, how much are your sets, right? Price shopper, right? Just know that we have a lot of price shoppers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this and I'm gonna give you guys some words and stuff to make that so that that person goes from a price shopper to understanding the value of Cutco so that when we go through it, they automatically say yes at the end of our closing, okay? So I have here words that you need to include into your speech or into your guys' um, everyday talking. High end, professional grade, one of a kind, handcrafted, expensive, exclusive, guaranteed, and my favorite word, pampered. Who doesn't like being pampered, right? If you have a VIP mindset, you're gonna sell a lot more Cutco, okay? Customers wanna feel like a VIP, so if we treat them like a VIP, they buy more from you. Now, the reason why I give you those words is because when you start throwing that in there, like our cookware, oh yes, this is our professional grade cookware, right? It tells them right away, this is expensive stuff, right? You also use the words like, it's all handcrafted. You should see, when you go to our factory, we have like 10 guys that create this one pair of shears, right? It gets them familiar with why we're expensive, right? $136 for a pair of shears, that's cheap. You should see what these guys do to make one pair of shears, right? If you haven't experienced that, go to Olean, you'll know what I'm talking about, okay? So, some power phrases. Unlike cheap brands, right, unlike cheap brands, we believe you should buy once and never buy again. Unlike cheap brands, we believe that you should buy once and never again. Now you guys know how before you guys tell a price, this is a key phrase that you want to say before you say the price of Cutco, and that's like, now just so you know, we're not cheap because cheap things aren't good, and great things are not cheap, okay? Why be good when you could be great, right? So the thing is that you say that and you're gonna get a response from that customer, well, how expensive is it, right? Right there, they just told you exactly where they're at, okay? They know it's expensive. If they go, yeah, I know this stuff's gonna be expensive, then you know you did your job right, okay? If they ask you how expensive, that means you need to dig a little bit deeper before you go into that price, okay? Expectations. Once you buy Cutco, we literally pamper you for life. Once you buy Cutco, we literally pamper you for life. See, the thing is, Mrs. Jones, once you buy it from me, not only do you get the forever guarantee, but I come with that. And that means that I do all the free sharpening for you. If you break anything, you ruin anything, we'll come right out to your house, we'll pick up that knife, we will send it back for you. So literally, you don't have to do anything the rest of your life when it comes to your knives. Do you like being pampered? What do you think her response is? Hell yeah, right? Give me that credit card. Those are some of the key phrases that I have written there so that you guys will get them ready for when you guys are about to do it. The other thing I have here is set up package deals, like set up packages for price positioning, okay? You wanna see where your customers are, you tell them stuff like, hey, just so you know, we have packages here at the show that start at 14,000 and go down to whatever you wanna spend. Like 14 grand, yeah, if you'd like to spend 14 grand, I would love for you to do that so that I can take the rest of the day off, right? Customer's like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna spend that. But then when you show them a Cutco kitchen and it's only 10 grand, well, guess what? It's not 14 grand. It's like a $4,000 savings, right? So have those expectations, have those things. Packages and programs, right? A lot of us don't talk about packages and programs until after we're selling them the set, right? A lot of people in this room, they do it as an add-on. Why are you doing it as an add-on? 
you should be doing that first off. That way that when it goes down to that set, it's a no-brainer for them to spend the three grand on the ultimate set, or now four grand for the ultimate set, right? Gives you an idea. Now when we talk about packages, we need to do that from the very beginning. Now most of our customers like to come up to the booth here, and they like to purchase it here because it's the best deals that we're seeing here at the show. But they, not only do they look at our knives, but they look at our flatware, our cookware, our family program, and our business gifts, right? So you put that up from the very beginning, and they're like, what? You guys have cookware? You have flatware? And then you guys can do the Chelsea thing where you kick your heel up. Yeah, we got flatware. Let me show it to you, right? And then you sell that onto their homemaker or their signature, and then you have package deals. Most of us, this is what I have right here. Most of our customers like to buy package deals here at the show because Cutco, remember separation between Cutco and you, right? Cutco gives customers better discounts when they buy in bulk, right? Bulk discounts. You want them to have that mentality that a set is not bulk. That's just a savings, right? To repeat that, most of our customers like to buy package deals here at the show because Cutco gives customers better discounts by buying in bulk. Because this is going to help you in the future when you bring up the family program and you go, hey, I know that's the set that you're looking for. Is this primary for your primary home or is this a secondary home? It's your primary? Oh, well, have you thought about putting it in your secondary home or getting it for your children? Remember how I told you you get better deals when you buy in bulk? And then the customer's like, yeah, he did tell me that. Okay, great, how many sets are you thinking, right? You sell a homemaker and then all of a sudden it goes from a homemaker to four homemakers. Now we're having a decent day at the show, right? Mentality has to switch, right? That's all about the price positioning. The other thing, you guys probably have picked this up. A lot of top reps tell you Cutco is priced around $100 a piece. So if you're looking at this 32 piece set, right? The mindset is already there that that set's gonna cost over three grand, right? Now you say 150, right? 100 to $150, there's 32 pieces. So you're probably in the round of about, you know, four or five grand, right? The customer's like, four grand? Yeah, but it's on sale here at the show. It's only 3,600, right? They're like, oh, good, it's not four grand, right? No, it's just 3,600. <laughs> Right? Okay. I put here, obviously you buy sets, you get a better pricing. If you want to buy individuals, you and I are going to be best friends. So if you have a customer that's looking at individuals, tell them that. Our best deals are in our sets, but if you want to buy individuals, we're going to be best friends. Customer's going to ask why, and you're going to go, because see, when you buy individuals, you end up spend three times more than if you just bought the set from me here today. But I'd rather you just buy the individual now so that next year you buy a couple more, next year you couple buy it, and then they're like, no, 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 we'll just look at the set. I'm like, are you sure? And they're like, I'm positive, I just want the set. <laughs> Great, that's what I'm here for. Okay. Now, most people say, hey, Curtis, how do you do your individual price positioning for like individual pieces? You guys get that customer that comes up, how, many, how much are your shears, right? And you're all like, do I just tell them or do I try to like save this or how do I handle this? Like, oh, well, if you buy the shears, it comes in a package. You can say that, yes. But most of the time, they're looking for a price, right? So what you do is you just say, oh, are you familiar with Cutco? Do you have our product or are you just wanting the pair of shears? right? You immediately can answer that question, right? And they go, well, I'm just looking. Okay. Well, is that the only thing that you're looking for in particular, right? Always be redirecting them so that before you give a price, you're not just throwing it out there and then the customer's like, okay, cool. Thanks. And then off they go, right? You got to remember when customers come up to the booth, there's three things. They're either looking for something, they're wanting something, or they need something. Our job is to help them find one of those three things and then close them by using our price positioning, right? 
Now, it's very interesting because I, I, a lot of people get mad at me for doing this, but I'm, I, I don't care, okay? <laughs> so if someone, yeah, I almost said, I'm Curtis, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> so if a customer comes up to the booth and they're like, how much is your trimmer? Well, are you familiar with Cutco? Do you have Cutco or are you just looking to buy that one knife, right? They go, oh, no, no, I have Cutco. I'm just looking for that one piece. I'm going to tell you guys this right now. That customer has already shopped online. They already know what it costs in the catalog. They know what it is for that price. So what I encourage you to do is give them $3 off or give them $4 off so it's not the same price that's online, right? Because how many of you guys get that where you guys tell them it's 136 and they're like, that's the same as it was online, right? And you're like, I could have fixed that, right? <laughs> so instead, now you just go, it's $130 here at the show right? And then they're all like, oh, that's cheaper than it is online. Yes, you want to buy it here from me because all the prices are cheaper here or not as expensive. And the thing that's great is if you buy that piece there, we have packages and programs to make that piece even cheaper. Or there is a way where you can earn that for free if you'd let me show you what we have to offer here at the show. Right? And then that customer's like, wait, 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 how can I get the shears for free? Well, here's the thing. What do you own of Cutco? I have this, I have that, I have this. Okay, great. You'd be a perfect candidate for our upgrade program where you can earn those pair of shears for free. Let me go ahead and show you what that would be. Right? I have written here, we have to make our customers interested, not feel interesting. Okay? A lot of times what we do is we get the customer that you, you're, you're trying to make them feel interesting, like make it interesting, you know, like the ooh, ah, and this, but wait, there's more, and this, and that, and oh, and we cut that, and this does. We're not an infomercial, people. Okay? We sell high-end product. Do you want it? No? Okay, great. Move on. Right? Or what you need to do is you need to make it inter them interested in going, wait. Why is his price different than the rest of the people, right? Because then you can take them in avenues that you need them to go into. Now, if you get that customer and they're like, how much are your shears? And you go, they're on sale here at the show for 131. And they're all like, oh, well, that's cheaper. And then you're all like, yeah. And then you can easily get them from one piece to two piece to three piece to five piece. And the next thing you know, a thousand dollar order, right? That's the beauty of selling. Okay. So I have that for individual pieces. Hopefully that helps you guys out, understands how to strategize with those people. Now what we need to do is we need to move into multiple sets and business gifts, okay? The main area where you're gonna sell the most and do the best at fairs and shows is by focusing on multiple sets, okay? I heard someone say this yesterday and I totally agree with them. I think it was Chelsea. We are a knife company first. People come up to our booth to buy what? Knives. If they come up to the booth and ask about cookware, sell them the cookware. If they come up to the booth and ask them about flatware, sell them flatware, right? But the first thing that you need to know is that we're a knife company and most people come up to the booth to buy knives. And they don't come up to the booth just to buy a knife, they come up to the booth to buy a lot of knives, right? So what you have to do is you have to use your family program brochure all the time, okay? Whether they're a new customer or a past customer. You guys saw my approach yesterday. If they buy their first set of Cutco, you close them on their ultimate, close them on their signature, whatever they're buying, and then immediately your next question should be, is this for your primary home or is this a secondary home? Okay. So many times I find out that they're buying it for their secondary home, and I'm like, well, what do you have in your primary home? And they're like, oh, we have a, we have a decent set of knives that we really like. We got it from our aunt. And I'm like, seriously? You're going to put the best product in the world in your secondary home and not in your primary home? And then they look at me and they're like, uh, and I'm like, we need to fix that. I was like, because I guarantee you when you get that set over there at your secondary home, you're going to be mad that you didn't buy another set from me for your primary home. And then they're like, okay, well, hey, here's the thing. Like I said earlier, Cutco allows you to get bigger discounts when you buy in bulk. So a lot of our customers don't just buy one set here at the show. They buy two, four, six, eight, or more. And they're like, wow, really? And I'm like, yeah, a thousand bucks is a drop in the bucket compared to the rest of the customers that come up to the booth. 
right? A lot of customers come to this booth specifically to buy more Cutco. So let me show you this program. Let me go through it, right? Also, when you're doing multiple sets, talk about it as if everyone does it, right? Hey, do you guys go traveling? Do you guys go, do you do this? Do you do, you know what I mean? You have to ask those questions. That's what rapport is all about, right? But the thing is, expect them to tell you that they have second homes or RVs or campers or their mom. The best way to do the family program is talk about their mom's horrible knives, right? Because usually they're in their 50s, 60s, which means mom's in their 70s. They usually go over for the holidays and they're the ones cutting up all the food, right? And then they're sitting here like, yeah, my mom's knives are terrible. Hey, let's just knock this out now. Let's support your mom too. And let, let's make sure that when you go over to her house, she has good knives too. What if she cuts herself? Trust me, she won't. It's Cutco. And then you go. <laughs> if, it, if she does cut herself, I got Band-Aids for her. Okay? Business gifts. Okay, I have a transition close that I've been doing with my customers uh, all of last year and this year. Uh, it's Knives with an Edge. It's a gift card. Okay, The thing that's sweeping the nation is our uh, Knives with an Edge, our business cards with an edge. And what it is, is it's where our business owners, you have a business, right, sir? Yep, you do? Okay, great. Um, we have this new program where you can actually put your name and logo right on our lockbacks. And what you can do is you can give them out to your clients or your um, employees, and it's a tax deduction. And it's a great way for you to not only use us as a business card that lasts forever, but it's something that everybody wants, everybody needs, and everybody should have. Most of our customers buy in the bulk of, you know, 50 to 100, some buy 1,000. Uh, you know, there's a lot of customers that buy, you know, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000. How many do you need? Right? Expectancy, right? The other thing that I have here for you guys for price positioning is don't be afraid of the big order. Talk as if you've sold that order multiple times, okay? I know people in this room that sell Cutco kitchens almost every weekend, and I'm just sitting here like, I guarantee you they're not afraid of telling their customer 10 grand, 10 grand, 10 grand, right? I just worked a business gift uh, show this last week and I quoted a million dollar deal, okay? Guy wanted to buy a thousand galley sets and put them in every home that he builds, okay? It's coming. That one million dollar mark is not just gonna be from me slaving away selling trimmers, okay? <laughs> there is gonna be a customer that literally is gonna buy a $500 million order and then we're not gonna be talking about a million dollar year, we're gonna be talking about multi-million dollar years. So, <laughs> Have it in, the mind, in your mindset that we are at shows. We see all walks of life, but at the same time, we're seeing the people that are spending the money. So do not be afraid of saying $10,000, $14,000, $50,000, $20,000, okay? At that show, I literally saw people buy $18,000 with a Cutco, $15,000 with a Cutco, and it was just in a matter of 30 minutes, right? And we're sitting here freaking out how to sell a homemaker at a show, okay? Just a drop in the bucket. So, value of our products. Our product is the most valuable thing on the market. The vendors that are around us know it's the most valuable thing on the market because they're all fighting to be next to us, okay? If vendors are fighting to be next to you, that should be a sign that you're doing your job properly, okay? The other thing is, is that you got to constantly tell your customers, we are American made, we're guaranteed, you buy it once, you never buy it again, but use all of these power phrasing, these positioning, and get them excited about what they're buying and not how much it costs. Because cost doesn't matter, right? Have third person stories that talk about customers that have had them 30, 40, 50, 60 years, right? I always talk about my grandmother bought hers in the 1950s. It cost her $400 set, it was $400 for that set. She paid $12 a month for like two years or something like that, right? And I tell my customers, they're like, now look, that same set is $1,700. She bought it once, she never thought about it again. It's her favorite thing, it's her ride or die in her kitchen, right? And 
we need to talk to customers like that, okay? You want to ride or die? Buy Cutco. Because guess what? If you buy Cutco from me, I'm your ride or die, and I'm going to be here forever. Thanks, guys.